What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today. So unfortunately, I do want to start this off by saying as you saw me post on Twitter and whatever other social media platform you saw me announce this video on. This is just going to be me speculating because unfortunately, I wasn't able to dig into it a little bit further to try to see how much of this could be connected to Scream 7. But there are things related to it that we previously did hear about Scream 7 that make it worth speculating on. And the the context of it could indeed apply to a scene that hopefully unfolds in Scream 7 if it involves our Carpenter sisters the way I think that this scene might end up doing if again it's related to Scream 7. So Scream 7 was believed to have a working title of Blackbird and then that kind of lost steam after they had been separated on the updated production weekly listing. Well, I'm here to kind of reignite it if you want to hop aboard this train with me after the video. Shout out to you, MTB, for sending this to me because it appears we have our first audition tape possibly for Scream 7. And if it is for Scream 7, it could very well be Sam or Tara Carpenter confronting their mother, Christina, who we know has been hyped up throughout the fifth and sixth movie. I do want to express that obviously if this is if this actress in the video is reading lines for Sam or Tara Carpenter that she ultimately of course would not be starring as either character but she just could have simply read lines from the screenplay before auditioning for a newbie role or something else and this is what managed to leak itself or not leak but be uploaded onto the Vimeo site. Anyway the title of the tape has Blackbird in it. And the only reason Blackbird lost steam originally was because it got separated from Scream 7 on Production Weekly. But what if that's still actually the working title and this again is our first audition tape of Scream 7? I think this tape is possibly detailing one of our Carpenter sisters tracking down Christina and confronting her because we know that they have us have a rift between them now. Uh, Sam was cut off by Christina. Tara cut off Christina after she refused to get back in touch with Sam. I think that's how it went down in Scream 7 or in Scream 6. So the tape starts with someone asking, how did you find me? We don't see this person ever during the tape. I think that's Christina. And the girl goes, it was a photo in a glossy magazine issue or some trade magazine that she saw in a doctor's waiting room. I guess this photo also had a team of people around the person being confronted in the tape and the girl speaking to them is becoming distraught over the word team, almost like they long to have a team of sorts or even a family unit with the person being confronted, which would line up with what could possibly have happened in between the events of six and seven, where Sam and Tara are longing to have Christina in their life and they, did, they had no way of contacting her and they had to track her down and they used this magazine discovery, if this again is related to Scream 7, they used this magazine discovery to track her down. The girl asked the person in this scene if they have friends, good friends or bad friends. Then she says, your eyes are red and look like they are stinging. So is this person an addict? If so, that lines up with Christina. Uh, the girl is becoming very teary eyed, but tells the person not to wipe them. This conversation again can easily be applied to Sam or Tara just confronting their mother after she cut them off in six. But during the time jump between six and seven, they have tried to track her down. And upon doing so, we get a moment that mirrors Roman Bridger's rejection that we never got to see in the original Scream trilogy. And it would act as a nod to Scream 3. So this is why I think that this tape is for Scream 7. But Blackbird being in the title is the biggest reason behind it at all. If it is for Scream 7, at least then we do know that Christina makes an appearance during the next film. Even if this isn't for Scream 7, the rejection of the Carpenters by their mother can be used to serve as a nod to Roman's rejection from Maureen if they want to play it up a little more in 7 before the family is repaired or before Christina is unmasked as the ultimate ghost face this time around. Because I've seen people say, oh, well, they're just going to give the Carpenters a long lost sibling because they're following the formula. I mean, they can follow the formula of the trilogy by doing this instead. Having, Carp having the Carpenter mother, Christina, rejecting her children. And then over time, as the story progresses, she either reunites with her children or she's unmasked as the ultimate big baddie of it all. They don't have to mirror Scream 3 with the villain this time around by unmasking a secret sibling, but they can still mirror the villain by what they're doing with the Carpenters because there's a rift between S Sam and Tara and Christina. Seeing rejection play out on screen of Christina not wanting anything to do with both of them, that is a nod enough to Roman Bridger without unmasking a secret sibling. You guys can agree or disagree down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this tape. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. If 
this again is for Scream 7. It would make a lot of sense. And it's hard to me to kind of not think it's Scream 7 when it has Blackbird in the title. It's just really hard for me to not think that it's Scream 7 right now. I'm going to continue to do some digging on it to see if I can con concretely confirm if it's for Scream 7 or not. I'm going to continue to search Blackbird. Honestly, I only want to talk about it because I'm curious to see now if this will get the video removed off of Vimeo. Because I would then say if it's removed, then I will continue to think that it's for Scream 7. And if you guys want to check it out again, I will leave a link to it in the description. What do you think about what I have discussed in this video? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.